Good morning, students. In the last class, we have learned about the sea dispersal. Hope you all done that activity. Let's move on to the next topic. Before that, there is an exercise given in the page number eight. You can do that. The first one, that is, radical of a seedling forms roots, shoots, or leaves. The radical it forms into a root, right? So you can tick that. The second question: Coconut seeds are dispersed by wind, explosion, or by water. You can tick the water. That is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. That is new plants from roots, stem, and leaves. can see here all kinds of plants that actually do not grow from the seeds some plants may grow from the roots stem and leaves and that kind of reproduction is called vegetative reproduction let's see one by one the first one is the plants that grow from the roots here in this picture you can see the blackberry plant right the root that grows under the soil from the root the new plant is coming up and you can see in this picture the primary root this one and the secondary root is cut and kept it in the different pot and from there the new plant is coming up so some plants grow from the roots the second one is plants from the stem for example uh, sugarcane tea mint jasmine rose are the best examples here you can see in this picture the stem of the root is cut and kept it in the different pot from there the new plant is coming up right stem of plants such as lilies that form as a bulb here the for a best example for the bulbs is onion garlic shallot from here the new plants grows you can see in the rainy season this is a potato and this is a onion right from here the new plant starts to grow the potato this part of the potato is the eye part of the potato from here the new tiny plants can grow even the stems that is the underground stem that is ginger turmeric and potato from there also new plant can grow the next one is plants from the leaves you can see the mature leaves there from the mature leaf the new plant can grow the best example is begonia and bryophyllum how do non flowering plants produce the new ones for example pine cedars they don't have flowers but they produce the cones instead from the cones they produce a new ones in this picture you can see the ferns the ferns they do not even produce the flower or any cones but the leaves in you can see the spores on it under the leaves you can see the different spores on it and the spores that falls down into the ground and it starts to grow into a new plant that's all about today's class hope you all understood it let's do an activity find five different plants that grow from the root stem and leaves what all the examples i have given that no need to take you can take your own examples and you can note down in the science notebook so see you all in the next class take care bye